we're going to go into Sonic Frontiers. Now, that is out now for you to play. We've got a little trailer for you. Check this out. Find the Chaos Emeralds. How good does that look? Revamped Sonic at its finest. Now, I'm actually joined with Alan Wen, who is a games game journalist and reviewer, and he's actually reviewed the game over on Eurogamer. Alan, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I'm good, thanks. Good, good, good. So you've obviously just reviewed this game as well, and this is a brand new kind of feel and look for Sonic, really. I mean, how is it, had, you know, Sonic making this transition into this open world environment? Because this is brand new. Yeah, I mean, this is something I've always kind of wanted because yeah. um, since like since Sonic went into like 3D like way back on with Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast, they've always had a problem of trying to figure out how to get him in 3D because he's so fast and everything. So yeah. they spent many years just trying to keep him kind of on rails. So it's like a nice roller coaster, but you don't really you're not really navigating the 3D space. So the idea that you can actually control them run around in like vast 3d environments like i found it i thought it was like you know really appealing absolutely so, and i think um yeah. you know there's brand new aspects to this game as well you know they brought in a skill tree which i think is quite a nice aspect it kind of like builds up the game a little quite nicely so is that what, what do you think some of the best aspects are to this game that have kind of been brought in i'd say the thing that surprised me the most is probably the combat because mm. combat has never really been a sonic thing like he'd have the spin attack and he had the homing spin attack but that was really mostly as a traversal talk so you'd you know bounce on enemies to get from a to b yeah. uh it wasn't really you wouldn't stop for a fight but this now they've gone like a lot more like not exactly complex but like skills that kind of feel yeah you know, it's got a bit more of a panache to it and especially because they've got more enemies that are like they're not just like one bop and they're gone they're like proper like mini bosses and there's so many varied designs that make them quite interesting to fight and i was saying you need like certain skills in the game to fight certain bosses as well which is quite interesting so is there like a, a case of kind of like if you bump into someone and you can't quite fight them yet there's a way you have to kind of get those skills and then go back to fight that particular boss um i'd say the combat skills like they're more they look fancy so there's one where he's basically does kicks out like sonic boom projectiles with his uh, with his feet Amazing. Uh, which is like a ranged attack and then he's got i mean the only uh, the only real skill that you really need is the one you unlock straight away which is his new psi loop thing where he runs like a big light trail he leaves behind a light trail so you can like draw circles Fantastic. and that can be that can like that can like uh use you can use that on puzzles or you can like it forms an updraft so like enemies that are shielded they will get like you'll um, break through their defenses and then you um, expose their weak points. But everything else after that is kind of, um, they can deal more damage, but they, they're they not like specific strategies. It's more like, it's more like the bosses are designed with specific ways you need to 
reach their weak points before you can then just like let loose with your favorite attack so Absolutely. that's cool i mean do you think there's any issues at all with like the concept of the game or anything like that would you think it's pretty pretty much quite flawless at its current state i say as much as i like the idea of like sonic in the open in the open zone as they say uh, or like the combat like there are like a lot of glaring issues like you think in the presentation and some design choices which kind of feel very at odds with the character and like you know this is uh sonic still in his very cartoonish like look and then mm. in the kind of photorealistic world it kind of doesn't really they kind of they're quite jarring same with the like very breath of the wildy melancholic ambient music which is also like the opposite of the usual like you know rocking dancey vibes that you get yeah. in, you associate with a sonic game so there's a lot of things like that that just don't really yeah make sense like they're not uh they're not like terror they don't make the gameplay experience like necessarily broken but it just mm. feels like you're just constantly thinking why why are they doing this what um what's this here like there's no kind of there's all these different collectibles there's all these different puzzles but none of it, there's like no real sense of a a real world like there's no it doesn't we really have any particularly logic to it it's kind of like oh this is just like a checklist of things we're putting in because it's this is what you can get from a modern game <laughs> absolutely and i think like you mentioned breath of the wild there i mean it's been quite sort of like known among twitter and a lot of twitter users and things like that that have kind of compared it to breath of the wild straight away do you think there are similarities or do you think when you actually start playing the game there isn't really that much kind of similarity there yeah no not at all like they're they're very you know, you've got that kind of ambient open space style, but it's yeah. m much more action driven. It's much more action driven, right? So, and sometimes the moment when they do slow you down and do puzzles, they don't really feel like Sonic. And I'd say, it, but very actually, I would actually compare it more to Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is, oh, okay, that yeah. was also like an experiment in going open world, but it was, wasn't without its, with like, without its flaws and drawbacks. I feel like it's in the same that's the kind of, it's, you know, this is an experimental Sonic in that same kind of way. But I think it's probably got more, hit, it's more of a hit and miss. Yeah, definitely. I mean, do you think fans of Sonic are going to like this game? Do you think it's going to be a good thing? Or do you think they're going to be a bit divided on this one? Hmm. I think fans who always liked Sonic as 2D, they're <laughs> not going to be like converted by this. Yeah. Uh, set fans of the 3D Sonic games, I think, this will be like a fresh, you know, this is a cliche, but, you know, breath of fresh air. It feels yeah. like, you know, the fact that you can control him in like these big open uh, open spaces. Uh, although the thing is, it's still very, le it leans on the very kind of like linear aspects of, you know, you've got spring, you still got springs, you still got grind rails that kind of go in one specific direction. And there are even points where you are back on like a 2D perspective as well. So okay. um, I guess that's an attempt to try and, make and it's like the there's like these linear action stages you can also go into so it feels like it's trying to get the old fans on side so yeah. it doesn't quite commit to it doesn't quite commit to it's like uh it's like premise of an open zone yeah i mean because obviously we've had quite a few sonic games of course there's been so many questions so many different <laughs> different sonic games so do you think for someone that is brand new to the sonic franchise and actually just goes straight in with this game as an entry level game do you think it kind of will convert them into being a sonic fan i mean it's a <laughs> sonic fan base is a tough one but like if you go into this new i guess if you're comparing it to other like open world games and Sega's been kind of adamant to call it, it's called open zone rather than open world. Like I think they're going to, it's going to probably come up short. Yeah. But I think in, as an actual Sonic game, it might be like one of the best 3D Sonic games in a while. But then that doesn't really mean much because the last few Sonic 3D games have been not particularly <laughs> great. So it's like, it, 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 is a, it is like a very... Yeah, it's, it's quite a non-committed one, but it is, a, it is a very mixed bag in terms of like, yeah, there are things that I do like about it, but there are a lot of things that just kind of make you think, oh, what is this? And why have they done this? And so it's, if, if it was like definitely the first patch of like, you know, maybe they can build on it. Yeah. But yeah. Definitely. The foundations are there. Absolutely. Well, Alan, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been amazing to get your insight. And um, we did read your review as well. And it was fantastic. So thank you so much for coming on.
Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank talk you. About this. Take care. Thank you. <laughs>